Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at Herbie the Love Bug for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks in 2021. Now a lot of people have mislabeled this as a chase piece, which it is not. Thankfully the Hot Wheels Dream Team, also known as the Hot Wheels Design Team, actually put out a post on their Instagram that actually debunked the chase piece aspect of Herbie the Love Bug. This was my original theory as well. Uh, it does share a very similar quality of the packaging to the original chase piece from Case A, which was Barbie, uh, which is this rendering here in the corner. However, they did post that, and I expect that when we open this, you won't see a chase piece symbol. Uh, so this is actually just a Walmart exclusive truck. However, they are very hard to come by. Uh, a lot of people have noted that, other collectors, and obviously the eBay prices do reflect um, some sort of rarity. However, Herbie vehicles tend to carry some uh, level of high price point anyway, so it's kind of in the middle ground between chase piece value and just the standard Herbie value. And being the first Herbie monster truck, it does make sense that it would carry a little bit of early value with it. So here it is. I want to thank my friend Joseph, by the way, for sending this in for review. I definitely appreciate that because I have not found anything uh, past case A in my store. So I have been depending on other collectors and friends to help me out with Hot Wheels this year. So here's the packaging. You can see the uh, Herbie the Love Bug uh, insert plaque there, or it just says the Love Bug. However, this is Herbie the Love Bug from the Disney classic. Uh, and I know a lot of people probably know that reference in the movie. I actually have never seen the movie, but I do get the car reference after uh, extensive research into this car when they first announced it. So there's the basics of the packaging layout. There's that rendering right there of the uh, Love Bug. And then the back of the card here actually has the Case D assortment, which I will be reviewing soon. I'm just waiting on the Bigfoot to come in from my friend Danny. Um, so I have everything else. So here is Herbie the Love Bug. Really cool that they actually put the rendering here. I think, um, actually I can't recall what the other truck was in Case D, but there was another truck that did replace. It probably was a repeat. So there's that. There's the rendering here on the side profile. Here's the uh, packaging layout. You can see the name is Herbie the Love Bug. The truck type is character, the strength is mind of its own, and the crash check is speed burner. Mind of its own because in the movie, uh, at least I've heard or read that it does have kind of an autonomous uh, style to it. Basically, the car has a mind of its own. So here it is. Let's unbox it real quick. This should be pretty fast. So there is Herbie, and you can see no chase piece. Uh, congratulations message, which would happen inside of a chase piece vehicle. So there's that uh, debunked once more by uh, just unboxing it. There's the insert placard with the stripes, the 53 and the love bug. Uh, logo very cool that's like a 70s style there and just to quickly recap these are the official chase pieces so far of hot wheels monster trucks we have barbie from case a 2021 and the hot wheels shuttle from case e and i actually wanted to apologize my last video when i made the hot wheels shuttle unboxing i didn't know that this is actually a real shuttle they use in el segundo california at the uh, Mattel HQ, which is embarrassing because I only live about 10 to 15 minutes away from there and I go there uh, sometimes to check out the uh, truck selection. So I didn't know this was a real shuttle, but it is a real shuttle. So that's why they made it into a chase piece. It makes much more sense now. And Barbie kind of speaks for itself. So case A and case E have had chase pieces. I'm sure we'll see a couple more by the end of the year, but Herbie is not a chase piece, but it's still nonetheless a very, very cool model. So let's check out the truck itself. So here it is. It is that new Volkswagen casting. I believe it was a 1973 uh, or 63. And I have the card back. I checked. It is a 1963 Volkswagen Beetle. I was pretty sure it was a 63, but because of the 70s movie, uh, it threw me off. So this is a 63 Beetle and uh, really cool. It actually shares all the real characteristics and casting work of the real life Beetle in the 63 model. So uh, awesome. I will be doing a review of Case C when that came out uh, soon. I will get caught up on those eventually. But here is the second release of that um, Volkswagen Beetle model with Herbie the Love Bug decals. One more thing here is what the chase piece would look like for a uh, chase piece vehicle. That would be telling you found a chase piece. This would actually be the Hot Wheels shuttle. So uh, that review, I'll leave it at the end if you guys want to watch it. But here is Herbie the Love Bug. It comes with a blue crushable car and super cool. So I do enjoy the color of the beadlocks, like this uh, dark actually not dark, but like a medium tone gray over a black rim, uh, black roll cage, chrome chassis. And then here's the vehicle itself. You can see it has the 53 uh, on the side. 
And these are all tampos, or at least the side decals are tampos, so they're very, very clear. I like that they did that for this truck. Uh, you can see it has that nice light gray color to the body, very accurate to the real life um, car. And then we can see here, they actually did a license plate print in the front here, a California license plate, which is the official one from the movie. Uh, this shows that it's a little bit more of a special vehicle because the real, or the original, not the real, the original one did not have that on their uh, print. They did put it on the back, but uh, not on the plastic insert. So they did do that extra detail for Herbie. They did do the headlights in there and the stripe down the hood, the blue, uh, white, and red. And then we have the 53 on there with a little bit more of that detail on this uh, bar on the hood. And then it does have a rag top. I believe that's what the term is here, the rag top on the roof with the stripe going over it, the back window. And then you can see we have the uh, taillights printed in with the uh, California license plate on the back again with the 53. And you can see a very, very tiny, tiny Disney uh, copyright right there underneath the license plate because it is a Disney product and or movie uh, character. So it's very cool that they got the Disney uh, agreements to this. I think on the Dream Team or somewhere on a forum, they mentioned that this was a difficult uh, thing to do because it did require Disney's approval and make it into a monster because it's a bit different than a Hot Wheels car. But nonetheless, it's a very fun one. Although it is a pretty plain vehicle, it does carry significant value because Herbie the Love Bug products already do that. So awesome with this truck. Really cool Walmart exclusive, a little difficult to find in my own area. I think a lot of people have had the same experience. So if you guys find one of these, I would treat it like a chase piece, at least at the fact that it's not very easy to find. Again, thank you to Joseph for sending this in for review, and I will see you guys next time. This is Ryan Ramon's GMOCD, signing out.